As the steel of the night hits, he's anxiously spit on his commitments. Antagonized, ostracized, sleep deprived and agonized and soon to be criminalized, his soul groans. Ocean eyes and salt deposits drip down to the Savior's rugged feet. In deceit, Judas leads the soldiers to the meek cheek of the beholder. I am he, he boldly speaks. The one and only Jesus of Nazareth, fully armed like Jesus was hazardous. Though he raised Lazarus, he refused to use his power as they devoured him before Caiaphas. Flogged before the magistrates whose madness and hate impatiently waited for the master's death date. Yet he refused to retaliate, understanding the annihilation was preparation for his destination. The abrasions from the thorn crown permitted blood to trickle down his swollen face. So they made a mock king by mocking the king, mocked him by the fierce piercing of the rugged thorns. In gladness they pressed the prickle crown through his flesh. Can you sense the sadness of the king's status? On behalf of a lad, he got a robe and a staff. They bowed and smashed Jesus with the same staff. Gas after gas, the crown goes deeper. Mock him, beat him, sock him, and tease him. The rugged